Money laundering keeps having a critical impact on our day-to-day -day society, as criminals have come up with even more crafty ways to clean their money, using online methods, which a lot of the time go undetected. In today's video, we will be taking a look at the current money laundering methods used by criminals, how criminals are laundering their illicit funds, and the impacts it continues to have on our society. Hello, and welcome to another KYC Lookup video where we bring you AML-related content to help you enhance your knowledge in the fight against money laundering. But before diving into today's video, we have a special announcement to make, so be sure to watch until the end to find out what it is. Oh, and don't forget to leave us a comment with any suggested topics you would like us to cover in the future. So, on to today's video. Before talking about the different methods of money laundering, we must talk about the money laundering as a definition. Money laundering refers to the processing of criminal proceeds to disguise the illegal origin. The process of money laundering is of critical importance to criminals, as it enables them to enjoy their profits without jeopardising their source. When a criminal activity generates substantial profits, the individual or group involved must find a way to control the funds without attracting attention to the underlying activity or the persons involved. Criminals do this by disguising the sources, changing the form or moving the funds to a place where they are less likely to attract attention. Some of the most common online methods used by criminals to launder money nowadays are Online banking Online banking is currently the playground of many criminals and fraudsters who are using social engineering methods to access other people's bank accounts. For money laundering purposes, a criminal may transfer money directly into such a victim's account and trick the person into sharing sensitive information such as passwords or getting into remote access of the victim's computer. Then the criminal can make an unauthorised payment from the victim's account. Synthetic online identity theft. Criminals are using a combination of real and fabricated information to open accounts for credit cards, online deposits and loans. Providers of these digital accounts, including banks, normally do not perform sufficient checks on customers and the basic security checks that they can easily circumvent by criminals. These types of crimes is costing banks a lot of time and money, along with reputational damage. Financial institutions are spending countless hours chasing down people who actually don't even exist, or have not used real information. They only realise there's a problem when they notice some suspicious activity with these accounts. And when they try to take some action against these accounts, they often vanish suddenly leaving no trace of their owners. Anonymous online payment services. Payment methods like prepaid online gift cards, prepaid debit cards and prepaid credit cards can be purchased in a completely anonymous manner or with fictitious details. They can be purchased via cash payment in the country where the illicit funds are obtained and then the value loaded onto these cards can be redeemed online anywhere in the world without revealing the identity of the person. Money launderers will buy them in bulk and use different individuals to redeem the amounts, avoiding local thresholds. Virtual currencies. Crypto, digital currencies or virtual currencies, as they are also known as, as Bitcoin, are being used by criminals due to its inherent anonymity feature, making it one of the most convenient ways to launder money. As virtual currencies are not connected to a person's identity and only depend on the private key connected to an account, in addition, individuals who use digital currencies do not have to rely on intermediaries for value transfers. Digital currency platforms in a lot of cases are failing to carry out sufficient checks for the source of funds and only perform a very basic level of diligence. Although the Financial Action Task Force, FATF, have introduced standards for digital currency providers to follow, local regulations are still a long way away from being fully effective, letting criminals get away with it. 
Online gaming. Online gaming is growing larger and faster every year, with an estimated 2.5 billion active gamers worldwide. And so it has quickly become number one in generating huge amounts of money. $196 billion estimated this year alone, to be more precise. As great as this may seem, cyber criminals and money launderers have quickly flocked to the gaming world, as there is virtually no regulation or monitoring of the industry. Money launderers will buy skins, weapons, and power up their characters through microtransactions below $200 as to not be detected and then sell them on, which makes their dirty money clean. In another method, cyber criminals will hack into your system and steal your personal information, like your credit card details, then spend away at their own leisure. Although these are some of the online methods used nowadays, we can't leave aside the more traditional methods still being used by criminals to launder money, such as Casinos the way criminals would use this method to launder money is by buying thousands of dollars worth of casino chips in an established casino with low AML rules and then request the chips to be moved around the different casino branches around the world and ultimately withdraw the money as winnings. In recent years, the Financial Crime Enforcement Network placed regulatory requirements on casinos due to the large sums of money and the high frequency of transactions at these establishments. But we still see some casinos being used to launder money. Gift cards. Via this method of money laundering, fraudsters copy the serial numbers of the cards, scratch off the security code and then cover them up. Then when the card is activated, they can access the funds on the card. While they can't redeem the funds for cash directly, they can use them to buy products that they can sell for cash. Moreover, by using stolen debit or credit cards, they quickly purchase prepaid cards in bulk. They can then sell the cards for cold, hard cash. If they aren't caught in the act for using the stolen cards, it's very difficult to trace these culprits. Money Mules a money mule is a person who receives and transfers funds acquired illegally for others. Most mules receive a commission for their efforts. In the past, money mules were known to cross borders with money strapped to their bodies, travelling with briefcases full of notes, or simply hiding money in the tank of their car. Criminals are never short of creative ideas. Offshore Accounts Individuals can transfer stolen funds into an offshore account in a locale where the bank secrecy laws are not very strict. These countries and territories are often referred to as tax havens. Financial institutions, trusts, shell corporations and other financial groups in these regions may welcome money from almost anywhere and often do not require disclosure of information regarding where the money originated from. In return, these institutions do not file any reporting back to the country in which the funds were generated. Smurfing A commonly used money laundering method, smurfing involves the use of multiple individuals and or multiple transactions for making cash deposits, buying monetary instruments or bank drafts in amounts under the reporting threshold. The illegal act of splitting cash deposits or withdrawals into smaller amounts or purchasing monetary instruments to stay under the currency reporting threshold. Money launderers use structuring to avoid triggering a filing by a financial institution. Criminals are always looking at different ways to launder their illicit money. However, detection capabilities across different industries and local authorities need to be smart and always adapt to stay one step ahead in order to avoid more criminals finding ways to launder their illicit money. Well, there you have it, a basic explanation of the current methods used by criminals to launder money. Please tell us in the comments section what other methods of money laundering you are seeing out there across the different industries. Now for the special announcement mentioned at the start of the video. We have now launched our very own KYC courses for you to take a more in-depth look at a variety of subjects such as Introduction to AML, 
beneficial ownership and customer risk rating, for example. So make sure you visit our website for further details and let us help you connect the dots in KYC. Thank you for watching the video. And if you made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe to watch more amazing videos.